In this video, I'll tell you how to stop snoring. I'll walk you step by step back to quiet nights and alert days. Keep watching and I'll explain the five steps involved. But I should warn you, there's nothing here about things you spray up your nose or boil in a pan in the kitchen. I'm Adrian Zacker, founder of Snorer.com. Oh, don't worry about taking notes because I've put together a free download for you and I'll give you the link at the end. Now it seems everyone finds snoring funny <laughs> unless they have to listen to it every night. There's a really important caution here. If you or your partner are drowsy when you should be awake, see your GP immediately. Drowsiness may be a symptom of sleep apnea. Sleep what? Keep watching and I will explain. With that, let's jump straight in with step one. The six self-help ways to stop snoring are known as lifestyle changes. Number one, if you're overweight, try to lose weight. Talk to your GP about this. They may be able to help you. This is because we get fat inwards as well as outwards. And weight around your neck reduces the diameter of your airway. And when the airway becomes narrow, the air that you breathe in has to travel faster. And as it travels faster, it, the walls of the throat start to vibrate. And this makes you snore. Number two, avoid evening alcohol. Yes, I know that drinking alcohol in the evening is exactly when you want to drink it. The reason is alcohol super relaxes your throat, which makes it floppy and prone to vibrate. And you snore, so you have to choose. Number three, stop smoking. Yep, that same old message. Smoking inflames the tissue of your throat, which makes your airway narrower. Number four, get off your back! <laughs> Gravity pulls your tongue backwards and narrows your airway. Your mouth may also fall open, and as it does so, your jaw moves downwards and backwards, and this also narrows your airway. And no, a chin strap is not the answer. Number five, Keep your nose clear. If you can't breathe through your nose, well then you have to breathe through your mouth. But when your mouth opens, as I've said before, it moves downwards and backwards. And this narrows the airway in your throat, the air has to travel faster, and you snore. Additionally, some people find that dairy products may make them stuffy, so don't use them. Number six, avoid sedative medication. Talk to your GP if you need sleeping pills or painkillers. See if you can find an alternative. Now it's time for step two, signposting. Signposting works like this. You answer some questions online and the signposting tool directs you to the most appropriate professional to help you. If you have symptoms of sleep apnea, and I will tell you what that is in a minute, or other related health issues, you'll be directed to your GP. If not, then you'll be directed to a sleep-trained dentist. Now seems an ideal time, as I promised, to outline what obstructive sleep apnea is. Obstructive sleep apnea, or OSA, is when your breathing is disrupted while you are asleep. The airway in your throat repeatedly narrows and not enough air gets to your lungs, despite continued efforts to breathe. Sufferers commonly snore, and may be drowsy in the day because they have to wake up to breathe. Now, because the urge to sleep is irresistible, there may be disastrous consequences if they fall asleep when driving or a similar activity. From here, we go on to step three, screening for obstructive sleep apnea. Screening is essential, and this is where, of course, over-the-counter products fail. The professional screening you now has three options. Option one, referral to a sleep unit for a home sleep apnea test. I'll show you what one looks like in a moment. Option two, lifestyle changes and local management. These are the self-help options that we discussed at the beginning. Option three, a prescription custom-made dental appliance. Now there's two important points here. One, these are prescription devices and they are not the gum shield things you might see online or in the pharmacy. Totally different ball game. Secondly, the gum shield gadgets aren't valid as a way to see if a real device will actually help you. 
First line therapy, meaning the most appropriate option for snoring as recommended by NICE, is an intraoral device, also known as a custom-made dental appliance. The sleep-trained dentist would prescribe what's indicated for you. There are many to choose from, so do be guided by the expert. On to step four, sleep testing and diagnosis. You'd only need a home sleep apnea test if screening raised concerns. So now assume you've been offered an appointment at the sleep unit for further investigation. Here then we go on to step five. First line therapy for obstructive sleep apnea is positive airway pressure or PAP therapy. That's when you'd wear something like this to sleep every night. It pumps air, not oxygen, in via this mask. The pressured air keeps your airway open and you'll get the best night's sleep that you've had in years. Oh, and you won't snore when you're wearing this. Treatment for sleep apnea is transformational. It's magic. Patients report feeling 10 years younger. Of course, some people cannot adjust to or don't use PAP therapy long term. And this is when a dental appliance may be considered a second line option, the next best thing. So now let's talk about surgery. Surgery may seem appealing as perhaps a quick fix. However, surgery on its own is rarely effective. Soft tissue surgery aims to improve the airway in your throat to improve the effect of perhaps an oral appliance. Whereas hard tissue surgery, which will change the way you look, aims to eliminate the need for other therapies. Bariatric surgery may exceptionally be considered when your health and quality of life, as well as your sleep, are impacted by obesity. Let's sum up now with some simple do's and don'ts. Do something about snoring. You don't have to live with the ridicule and the social consequences. Do use our free signposting tool. There's a link in the description below. And please, please don't ignore drowsiness. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video or share it with someone you know.